right, there's the ceiling. Okay, so this is my pattern raptor. It's gonna sit up there, something like this, and it will have a radius to it. I brought this over inch and a half so that I could set it on top of two by four, and that'll allow for crown molding around the ceiling. Nail this to the top so I can come through and very quickly mark all the patterns out. Okay, so what I've got set up here is I have a table with a sheet of 7 8 Advantech that we had left over. I snapped a center line. I took a piece of scrap and snapped a center line. I'm gonna end up taking those rafters and screwing them down basically like a jig. I'll set one, make sure that it's correct, and then I'll scab block so that every other one is exactly the same. But what I need to do is cut a trammel arm. So here's how I'm gonna do that. This is pick an arbitrary number say two inches. And I wanna make sure that the center of the blade is lined up with the center of the trammel. So what I'm gonna do is just plunge cut with the table set right to the edge of the line. I'll just move it forward till this lines up. Doesn't have to be perfect, that's close enough. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this. This is what I'm Okay, so here's how you figure out your radius. So I made my rafters 36 inches along the diagonal, and that, I think that'll become apparent later. So 36 inches is the run. I'm gonna go seven inch high at the middle. Hit convert arc. 26 and 5 eighths is my radius. I have 36 inches at the halfway point. What I want is for the rafter to be seven inches tall, and then basically arc through. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is the saw is gonna fit in like this. My radius was 29, 26 and 5 eighths. So I'm gonna pull about 40 inches off, and then I'm gonna trim off all the excess material that I don't need. I'm gonna be cutting this direction with the trammel arm. So about 40 inches, I'll go there. I'm gonna say inch and three quarters, inch and three quarters. What did I go, two inches? We'll just make it look pretty. just like that and essentially I'm gonna pin everything down so that all I have to do is every one of them I just walk and make the radius basically what the blade does is it kind of bends they make a left and a right the curve on those hips is an ellipse but I don't want to get fancy with major and minor axis and a trammel arm and all of that so this method is called lofting. 